Hi everyone, my name is Jay Dalton. If you do not know me, I am Miss Pamela Boone's assistant. Uh, so today in our quick session here, I'm going to be teaching everyone how to properly use uh, the copying machine. Um, just to give a short brief summary, uh, I am going to be showing you all um, how to load in the paper, uh, select different paper sizes, and how to make a double-sided copy. So to get started, uh, I just want to list a couple of brief things with you. Um, so be sure before you make any copies that um, you are going through and checking the paper sizes. So in this first tray, we have the standard 8 by 10. And in the second tray, uh, if there's any need to, we have the legal document size, which is 8 by 14. So our two options today for how we're going to be loading these first, the standard or the scanner. So let's get started. So to go ahead and make a copy, I first want to show you guys and warn you to always reset before you make a copy because someone might have forgotten to clear their uh, previous works right here and of course if you're making your copy you do not want that so always hit the reset button so to get started we are going to take our paper that needs to be copied so the first way we are going to do this is to go ahead and set it in there like that let's go ahead and double check that we have enough paper in both trays now today we are just going to be using the standard 8x10 so, to get started, I only will be making one copy. And just to go through this really quick, we have our start, stop, interrupt, reset, copy, fax, which we will be doing at a later time, and our user box, but we do not use this in our business currently, just to save on cost. And then we also have our OK button. So what we are going to be doing since we have our how many copies we want selected, we are going to go ahead and hit OK and then go ahead and press start. All right, so then you will go ahead and pick it up there. Here is our copy. And you will go ahead and pick up your initial uh, document from right here underneath. Okay, so the second way we can do this, which I'm going to go ahead and reset right here, so that way I don't forget to do that later. Okay, we are going to be using the scanner. So just to do this, you want to go ahead and line it up um, with the measurement guide right here, and then you're just going to close it. And then, so I would like to make two copies. So I go ahead and hit two. It changes the copy number right there. And then I go ahead and I press start. And right here, it will show you the status of where it is at, okay? So we have our two copies here. Go ahead and set those. Make sure I take this one out go ahead and close it back and then I hit reset so the last thing we are going to be doing is how to make a double-sided copy just in case so I'm going to go ahead and take our initial document here and go ahead and load it in okay and I will be going to the duplex combine option now you have multiple selections here but to make a double-sided, we want to go ahead and hit the two-sided, two-sided. And then we are going to hit OK, and then start. And I want to mention really quick, too, as it go ahead. So whenever I hit the reset, it went ahead and took the copies to be made back down to one. So we have our copy and our initial paper. And just to show you guys really quick, 
and then like always we want to go ahead and hit the reset now I do want to mention a couple things here really quick with you um, so whenever just to save on cost and everything because the toners for the copy machines if you do not have to print in color I suggest do not print in color um, you can go ahead and change that whenever you go to make or print um, a copy uh, you can go ahead and select that you do not need it in color there's an option of color or black and white so go ahead and hit the black and white and another quick thing here um, we do have a six month warranty on all of our printers uh, this is company-wide um, so if you notice anything that's out of sorts with the copiers go ahead and contact me my contact information will be listed below but uh, I just wanted to go ahead and run through a couple things again my name is Jade Otten uh, Miss Pamela Boone's uh, assistant <laughs> and thank you for watching